Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix high memory, RAM, and CPU usage on your Windows 11 computer. So if you notice your games are slow, stuttering, freezing, flickering, or perhaps you're noticing a lot of crashes on your computer, laptop, tablet, device, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve these high memory and RAM problems on your Windows 11 computer, like I said. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Windows Start button. And you want to type in Registry Editor. Best match to come back to Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer in the event you would need to restore back from it. And if you ever need to import it back in, you would just would select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So like I said, pretty straightforward. And now we are ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing for the system folder. Locate control set 001, double click on that. Should be a services folder under here, double click on it. And then finally, there should be an NDU folder, so again, NDU. You can click on one of these folders and just start typing it as well. You don't actually have to scroll down like you see me doing here. So I just located it. You can see the file path up at the top of the registry editor here. Each bank slash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So anyway, now on the right side, you want to locate a D word value. This is start. If you don't see this value in here, you're going to have to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select D word 32 bit value. But like I said, you do see there a D word value in here with that exact same name that I just said. So again, double click on start. If you see it, if you don't, you're going to have to just create it. And then you want to change the value data in here to four. So delete the two, type the number four, and then select OK. And once you know what that, you can close out of here. And we'll recommend restarting your computer. And then hopefully that should have improved your system. And you should be using less system resources. Something else you can try here too would be to open up the search again. Type in services. Best match to come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and open that up. You want to locate the sys main service. So S-Y-S-M-A-I-N. This is formerly known as Superfetch, if you guys are familiar with it, with previous iterations of the Windows operating system. So go ahead and double click on it. You want to set startup type to disabled, and if service status is running, go ahead and stop it. And then select apply and OK. Once you've done that, you can close out of here as well. Something else you can try here as well would be to right click on the start button and select task manager. Select the startup tab. And if you notice you have a lot of programs in here, you can actually disable most of them. Generally, unless it's an antivirus, you can usually turn them off. So you're not actually removing the program or disabling it. All you're doing is preventing it from starting up every time your computer starts up, which slows down your computer. I notice a lot of printers do this, and then quite a few applications do it as well. And you can just generally turn them off or disable them. Some of them may have auto updaters, so that's why they tell you to keep it enabled. But if you actually open up Windows Task Scheduler, they still have tasks in there, like Adobe Reader, for example, that you can still get updates even if you turn off the application from starting up in here. So I would not be too concerned with turning any of these off generally. Like I said, except for an antivirus, which a good antivirus will have anti-tamper protection, which won't actually even let you disable it here. But pretty straightforward process on actually doing it. So again, turn off some of that. Turn off some of those applications if you don't need them. And talking about applications, if you go back into the search menu and search for apps and features, go ahead and actually check and see if you have programs in here that you don't need anymore. So you see there's a lot of apps in here. Go ahead and actually go through them and see if you can uninstall them. So if you've installed applications, you can go ahead and uninstall them if you're not using them anymore. That's always a good way to clean up some system resources. Something else here as well, open up the start menu, type in disk cleanup. Best match, you come back with this cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the cleanup system files button.
And then you want to go ahead and select OK. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select Delete Files. And then once that's done, you can also open up your star menu, type in disk defrag. Best results should come back with defragment and optimized drives. Go ahead and open that up. So if you're running an SSD, you don't actually defrag your drive, but you can optimize it though. And Windows does recognize if it's a hard disk drive or an SSD, in which case you can always optimize these drives. So go ahead and actually optimize your main hard drive here where Windows is installed. This may take a minute or two to actually run. And depending on your hard drive size, I might be grossly underestimating how long it'll take by saying that. I mean, it could take a few hours, honestly, but this should definitely improve the performance of your computer. If it takes like more than 10 minutes to run, I would imagine you should experience some performance enhancements. So go ahead and let it run here. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here. Open up the search icon, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was pretty straightforward for you, and you should definitely notice an increase in performance, and hopefully your high memory and RAM usage has been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.